Welcome to um, Shoe Rainer's Drawing School and today we're talking about rhinos. I've been asked by Tom Greenfield who I met recently at the um, at Blundell School to, sh to show how to draw a rhino and you can see I've been doing a few sketches here and they're not very easy things to draw and um, I've kind of come up with various versions of what they might be like and I think we're going to try on something like this. Okay, so let's see how we go. Well, first of all, I think we need a kind of a squarishy shape with curves on the end, like that, and that's going to be the body. And the thing about the rhino is its head is enormous, and it kind of hangs down at the front like that. So that's good. What would you call that? Kind of a some kind of a shape. But anyway, that's going to be its head, and its ears are really high to be able to hear if anything dangerous is coming across the Sahara Plains and then about midway it has a little horn and then down at the bottom it has an enormous great big horn like that and if you follow this down around here to about there then this is going to be its nose and then you can have its mouth in like that and its eye is really really low and it's quite small actually considering the bulk of the thing. Um, so that's kind of the, the head and the body. The, the front leg comes out of folds like that, so you can put some folds coming in there as well. And the stomach will come up like that. Um, and the back leg is going to come down kind of like that, sort of slightly curvy, so it's fatter at the top of the front leg, and it comes slightly slower, smaller at the bottom. I want to put a kind of a little pancake at the bottom as a guide for the feet. And again a pancake at the bottom for the feet that are kind of behind there. And what we've got is it has these enormous toes. Kind of like that. So let me kind of put that there like that. And like that. And then across the bottom. You can see the toenails like that. And you can maybe put some more wrinkles in here and there if you want. And then here it has a funny little tail. Like that. And maybe we ought to put the kind of a background in and a bit of an old acacia tree. Kind of in the background. Now, I've gone through various pens on this kind of thing. These are my latest faves. This is the um, Papermate Tiki Graphic by Rotring, and it comes in various thicknesses. This is a 0 0.5, which is quite thick, to show you how it draws. So I'm going to draw the ear first, because that's kind of on the top. And then I'm going to draw the horns, because they're on the top. If you think of all these various things as being in layers, so then the... I suppose you could do kind of wrinkly skin if you want with kind of wrinkly drawing. Like that. And a wiggle, wiggle, wiggle for the tail. And then you can we'll just draw all over it. You see, by drawing in pencil first, you can get that the the, uh, the horns are kind of on top of the face. If it, does that make sense? I just find that hard to explain that bit. Um, let me draw a nice little smile, because you want him to be a happy rhino, even though most of them look really, really grumpy. And, and we'll give him some folds, because like they're very wrinkly and foldy, like that. Okay, and that's pretty much the body organised. So now we come down to the toes, so watch this carefully, because we'll bring this curve down like that. And then that will come around like that, and that comes there, and then put the toes in. Again, bring that down there, that goes there, that goes there, and put the toes in. So by drawing it out in pencil first, you make all those mistakes. It gets it planned so that when you draw it on the top, it looks effortless once you've erased all the... Uh, Pencil. So that's the kind of. Here we are. 
this is a tree. I try to rush trees and I always feel you can just draw them in two seconds but you can't. You need to kind of plan them a bit. Does that look like an acacia tree? I hope it does. So I'll just give it some rough shading. Maybe you can colour it in and paint it. Uh, we can have a little bit of a hot sizzling African sun. It will give us some shadows then that we can put in here. If you think of the sun is coming this way, so it's going to make shadows like that. And you probably want some shadows. This is where it starts getting technical with cross hatching. And, and the only thing about cross hatching is you just have to do it, and then the more you do it, the better you get at it. It's the same with everything. Sometimes you do, and it just doesn't look right. But you have to make those mistakes to know what to do to get it right next time. And the inside of his. So there we have it. And um. <laughs> I can never find my eraser when I need it. I should have all my tools to hand before I start these things. So now if I rub out all the pencil marks, you see, you'd, you'd never know. And there you are. There's a rhino, and I think I would maybe colour in those shades, should I say, because I'm not using colours. Shading the toenails a bit like that. And, uh, and you can have some extra bits of grass. And there you are. A rhino. How to draw a rhino.